here we are outside of the haunted cellar door. We have Narlo the Hobbit. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Hmm. Well, said I waved everyone, but it didn't actually show it. I guess because we got such a crowd of people here. I noticed this last time we were playing as well. What is this? Strike from Shadows. Okay, that's land critical blows that benefit from stealth. So we had that pop up last time whenever we were hanging around over in Rushik Bog. So let us go on into the haunted cellar door here and let us see what is inside Bilbo's last adventure for the Hobbits of the Shire. All right. This is something you'll see from time to time, dynamic layers. Um, it causes basically the, the various zones in the game to instance whenever there's too many people in one zone. Keeps you from getting totally overcome by lag. All right. We have entered the spooky, spooky haunted burrow. You can see there's... Bilbo has definitely went to some trouble to get this place all nice and decorated for the season. So let's see if we can't find... Looks like someone that should be teaching at Hogwarts. If we can't find... Miss Lobelia in here somewhere. She said she would meet us inside. And just judging by the decor, I can't imagine her going too far. We do have a ring here. And I think it said Lobelia. There she is. Let's see what Lobelia has to say. She does not look like she's enjoying the experience too much. Oh, I am livid. I've been tricked. This place is not but a monster-filled, spook-ridden, crawly-infested hole in the ground. Bilbo tricked me into thinking there was anything worth my while in this abominable cellar. How I loathe him with all my heart. There is not here but filth and corruption. I want nothing to do with this evil burrow. Do as you will with it and stay away from me. Lobelia is not pleased with the cellar and has given you permission to explore it at your leisure. So now we need to go back out and talk to Opal once more. Because you'll notice these doors over here, we will not be able to open any of them until we've completed this part of the quest. And as I said, this is a very popular area. You can get some nice little gifts here. And it is... By opening the chest, there's a couple of treasure chests that are... One of them's a daily. And that's the only place you can get one of these special mounts. There's a special skeleton mount. I believe it's also available in the store, probably after the festival is over with. But it's the only place you can actually get it while the festival's going on. Let's talk to Opal. Wait, the thorn of some folk. Did you hear, Narlo? Lobelia is too scared to poke around. That means we can go treasure hunting. It's wonderful, just wonderful. I'm sure many of those nosy onlookers will have a wonderful time exploring and making off with what treasure they find. It is terribly exciting, isn't it? And we're going to get three fall festival tokens. There we go. You may now enter the haunted burrow at your own peril. Alright, there's a number of quests that you can do within. As you can see by the rings that have now popped up on the onlookers here. Who have various um, quests and, and uh, errands that they want you to run inside the burrow. We will enter once more. I'm going to see. It's been a year. So let's see if I remember how to get back to where the daily chest is. Got to get through the hidden bookshelf. Hmm. Yeah. Spooky. All right, it's not there. There's another hidden secret bookshelf that you have to get through. As soon as I can find where it's at. And 
and the lights have gone out. There we go. <laughs> I was... Lots of scary stuff that pops out at you. I would love to see. Let's see, is it in the basement? We will find out. Yes, it is. There we go. You got the barrel rack. Once you get past it, there's the poorly hidden chest. Let's see what we're going to get out of the chest today. A specimen jar, gross bugs, candle and mirror, spider leg, and some fall festival tokens. So we'll grab those. As you see right here, you get a timer. The secret Cheser chest, you got 23 hours until you can do it again. As it is only a once a day item. So now the big question is, how do we get out of here? Um, let's see if I can remember. I think it's back this way. Through the fog. Um, main cellar. Got us back out here. Now, let's one. Wander back through the spookiness, I was going to say. Oh, we're good and turned around. Bunch of scared hobbits. And I can certainly begin to understand how they're feeling. You'll find probably your mini-map up there in the right corner. One of your best friends to uh, getting out of here. Especially when the lights go out. Alright, back to the bookshelf again. And this should be our exit. Back out to the party tree. Alright, good. Now. We're going to take a quick look at our inventory, see what we got. Here's the Fall Festival tokens. Those are the ones you can get them here. You get them over at uh, the Elf part of the festival, the Dwarf part of the festival, and the Breland part of the festival, which we will all go look at here and uh, later in probably the next episode. Here we have Spider Legs. Um... Again, like I said, that's a little prank you can pull on the people around you. You have Gross Bugs. It's another prank. Candle in Mirror. Yet another prank. And the tokens. So there you go. And we will use the pranks here on people whenever I come back. And I'll show you how they function. In fact, we've got a Shire Brewmaster here. He looks like he enjoys a good joke. target him right click and we use the spider legs see he got a bit of a startle and had the little green get a bit of a startle as the spider appeared and got the little green poison fog around him but it doesn't last long like I said these aren't for griefing people they're just for little pranks. Let's see if we can find another person we can drop one of these others on. Alright. Let us target him. Someone's already dropping something. Let's get out of the way. Too much going on there in that corner. Here's a good victim. Hello, Kyneth. Let's see what the jar of gross bugs does to you. There you go. See the little bugs and roaches on the ground, and he does the little dance of la cucaracha. All right. All right, we're here at the party tree. We were investigating the various things you can do inside the haunted burrow. We had another 
deed here, consume consumables. So we've got to do that. Let's see, use the specialty jars. If we use those 300 times, good Karamati, we will get the gross bug skill so that we can use it without um, having the jar with us. Same thing with the spider's legs. Here's the haunted burrow, so we have to finish all the little quests that are inside, and we get a title, Burrower. So we may or may not work on some of those. We'll see how things go and how much time I have. But in the meantime, I was waiting to see if the dance leader was going to start up. He is not at the moment. What we will do, we're going to run over here to where the apple tubs are. And we see if we can't go bobbing for apples and get a few more uh, fall festival coins. At your service, I can exchange your apples for Harvest Festival tokens. Simply pick an apple from the bucket, then return to me with your fine. So we click on the apple tub, and let's go bobbing. And we found a medium apple. Um, yep, point and say that's as many times as you can do that. Let's see, it gives you a little apple, and you can do it again one hour later. And I think that applies for both tubs, that is correct. So let's go ahead and turn in our one apple. And for a medium apple, you get two fall festival tokens. So we'll go ahead and barter for that. And see the other thing that he does, he gets a pumpkin festival mask. And it's a really nice mask. It's a pumpkin that sits over your head. And you have to have a hobbit mask token. And... 12 Fall Festival tokens, of which we need five more. So, we will head on back this way. Oh, that was just two. Guy in the long dark cloak back there, robe and cloak, who I think his name is Keanu Reeves. Or some approximation of it, as close as you could get to um, using this. Alright, let's check May. May here looks rather distraught. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, help, help, my friends and me. We thought we'd have an adventure together and look for old Bilbo's treasure. But one by one, they disappeared, and suddenly I was all alone. I made it out safe enough, but they're still inside. I can only imagine what a horrible nightmare they must be having in that burrow. Will you find them and... Will you help find them and get them back safe, Narlo? I'd be so very grateful indeed. <clears throat> As you see, only one of these quests can be taken at one time. And we have to find six scattered, scared hobbits. Okay, good. This is one of the ones that doesn't require. One or, one or two of these quests do have a time limit on them. So this is not one of them. So let's go back into the haunted burrow. And let us see if we can find the scared hobbits. Alrighty, I'm going to go back into first person here. And we are going to take a look around looking for scared hobbits. We'll check out this floor first. See, Miss Lobelia has found her way out. Mm, we have a cloaked figure. That doesn't look good. We'll leave him for now. What did we have down this other path? Another of the bookshelves. There's a scared hobbit. All right. Hello there. Eat! Go away! You don't scare me! He doesn't lie very well, does he? Alright, we found one of the scared hobbits. Let's continue looking around, see if there's any more on this particular level. As we go dark again. And run into walls. And that's where we just came from. We'll go back through that bookshelf. Hey. Let's see if we have any more hidden in the nooks and crannies up in this area.
Hmm. I'm not sure. It says it's a scared hobbit. She doesn't look that scared. Hmm? I'm sorry. I was just having a bit of look at some of Bilbo Baggins' old notes. What a curious imagination he had. Wouldn't it be terribly exciting if his wild stories were real? Okay, that wasn't a scared hobbit. That was a curious hobbit. Not that hobbits aren't curiouser and curiouser. Or am I mixing my, uh... Mixing my literature there. All right, let's try down the other path. We've done pretty much this wing. There's another scared hobbit. Hello? Yes, I was here with May. And don't you be trying to shoo me out. I left the party because I saw it glittering at the end of a corridor and thought it might be a treasure. A pretty coin it was, too. Now leave me be. I'll not be leaving until I found a great hoard of treasure. All right. We've had a scared hobbit, a curious hobbit, and a greedy hobbit. And a scared hobbit's there. And we're back to the original bookshelf. Alrighty, I think we've explored all of this floor. Let's see what we can find behind some of these doors. The cobwebbed wing. Cobwebbed wing. Cobwebbed wing. Oh, we got some more up here to go, haven't we? Lots of scary things jumping out at us. The attic. Let's go into the attic. Mm, very spooky place. Any scared hobbits? Yes, we have one over there. And we also have darkness. Scared hobbit. Who might you be? I put on a black coat to cloak to sneak around and frighten my friends, but I'm afraid I'm lost. Will you show me the way out? All right. So far, we've only found two actual scared hobbits. One of them being the one that was outside. Let's see. Ah, see, we have some sneaky doors, too. That one says main cellar. But actually... It just takes you right back into here. Let's see where this one goes. That one did, so we must remember to hang the one on the left. Alright, so we've explored the attic now. Can we get into the cobweb wing? Is that locked? What about this one? Used too recently. It's a door. There. All right, now we're in the cobwebbed wing. All right, spider illusion has webbed us and slowed us down. You'll find there's a number of things like that that go on down in these areas. But I'm not finding any scared hobbits. Another hidden bookshelf. There we go. Uh, yet another scared hobbit. And what are you doing? Oh, people do. Hmm, I was sure this was the exit. It was a left, then a right, then a left, then another left, then another left, and then another left, I believe. Shh, you're interrupting. I'm trying to remember the way out, and I pray leave me be. All right, we found five of them. We have one left to find. Let's see. And there's the spider. <laughs> Scaring us enough to make us pass out this time. And webbing us as well. And another scary. That is the creeping wing. And that goes to the creeping wing. Which looks like it's where we'll have to go after this. Alright. Uh, let us try the creeping wing now and see if that's going to lead us out or to the ho other hobbit. All right, the creeping wing. Can say so with the deck.
Um, where did Bilbo get all this stuff from? Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder if he didn't, uh, make a pact with some unholy dark powers to make things like that appear. That's not exactly a stuffed goblin in a trunk jumping out at us, you know? All right. That will take you back to the basement again as we cower away at the dark shades. And we're still looking for one last scared hobbit. Where does that go? That will take us back to the basement, but we have to have the quest to get through that one. All right. Here we have searched this entire wing. And yes, let's get away from these shades. To the basement it is. Hmm, nope, that took us to the creeping wing. Okay. As I've said, you've got these problems where some of the doors don't go where they say they're going to. Now we are in the basement. No scared hobbits in there. And unusually, no treasure hunters in there either. <laughs> Another spook fest. There we go, the last of our scared hobbits. A ghost! I saw a ghost! Do you think it was the old Took? I'm so frightened! He was angry at me for eating his dinner while he wasn't looking one night. Do you think he has come back to haunt me? Oh, help! Pray don't be cross with me! I meant no harm! Alright, so now we can tell her where and what all her friends are doing. So... Let us see if we can find our way back out of here. I remember the path. And this one right here, you'll see too, the same main cellar. This first one is the fake one again. I throw a spoiler out there, but you got to take the second one. The first one just takes you back to where you just came from. And here's the main cellar. Whoops. Nope. That's the basement. Main cellar. Cobbled wing. Ah. Keep looking at your mini map there, Narlo. It will take you back home. Here we go. And back out into, well, I can't say the daylight. Back out into the fresh air, anyway. Let's tell May what's happened to her friends. Thank goodness they are all alive. I was so terribly worried. Maybe I will venture back in myself some day. I would dearly like a peek at old Bilbo's hidden treasure. And we'll get our three fall festival tokens. All right. As you see, she has a timer over her head. 23 hours. Once again, you can. these are daily repeatable quests, but... Um, But there are a number of them. I think there are five in total that you can do, that you can uh, use to get about three coins each. Okay? One or two of them are timed. Other ones are just like this. It's just an annoyance of going around until you memorize where the hobbits are. So I think that's where we're going to leave off for this episode. When we come back, I will show you, get in there, and find where the other chest collection is. And we will see you then. Alright. So, thank you for watching.